Um, hello, everybody. I'm Daniela Clary, uh, Senior Software Architect at Aeon Europe. And today I'm going to present uh, our Yocto introduction for Aeon Boxers based on um, NVIDIA Jetson modules. Let's start. So um, a quick summary before we start. Um, the uh, webinar will introduce uh, the hardware. So the NVIDIA Jetson modules and our Aeon Boxer products based on NVIDIA Jetson modules. We go then into the software part, uh, showing what is Linux for Tegra, the Jetpack software. Then we will move into Yocto um, on NVIDIA based products with the open embedded uh, for Tegra project. Um, after that, we'll go into the Aeon Yocto BSP for Boxer Systems, uh, where we are going to explain what we added in order to support our platforms. Um, then, towards the end, we have a getting started uh, with some uh, uh, technical steps to, to try out our Yocto BSP. And then, at the end, we'll uh, give you a, an overview of what are the future plans and we can then have our Q&A session. So if uh, I think we can start right now with, uh, with the rest of the presentation. NVIDIA Jetson modules. Um, NVIDIA released multiple Jetson modules um, from TX2, Nano, Xavier NX, Xavier AGX. Today we will focus on, in particular, on two which have been released last year, uh, Jetson Nano, and this year the Jetson Xavier NX. The two modules, as you can see, they have the same four factor. So they use the same uh, mechanical connector for the carrier board. They have, um, of course, similar I.O., uh, but from there, the, the other uh, aspects are, are very different. In particular, both the CPU and GPU. Um, we have a four core with the Jetson Nano, while we have a much more powerful six core ARM 64 bit on the Jetson Xavier NX. But what is most important is the GPU side, where on Jetson Nano, we have uh, an entry level GPU with 128 core with uh, Maxwell. Um, Maxwell uh, technology from NVIDIA, while on Jackson Xavier NX, we have a much more powerful core uh, Volta, uh, Volta uh, GPU with the 384 cores. It's worth noticing that uh, in a Xavier uh, lineup, uh, NVIDIA added 48 tensor cores specifically for the Xavier NX, which are much faster in running AI inference application on edge devices, giving even a, an additional boost to AI applications. Then of course, there is some difference in the memory uh, footprint, uh, especially the, the RAM. And then of course, uh, because of the difference in the GPU, there is uh, quite a big difference in encoding and decoding capabilities for uh, the modules. But as I said, the two modules share the same uh, mechanical form factor and edge connector, um, which comes uh, quite handy also for upgrades. And in fact, that's uh, what we can see from uh, our modules soon enough. So to go more into details, Jetson Nano, uh, as you can see, those are the main components uh, integrated into the system on chip from uh, NVIDIA, um, in particular, uh, also, various uh, industrial standard I.O. are exposed, but the most important part, of course, of the NVIDIA family is the uh, GPU part, uh, which takes, of course, a big part of the system on chip. On the Xavier NX, um, we also see uh, an additional component, which is a deep learning accelerators, and which can provide additional boost to your inference application, and of course, a bigger CPU complex where we have six cores. 
the difference in performance are quite important, but of course the Jetson Nano is an entry-level platform, while the Xavier NX can offer much more uh, performance, um, keep, uh, keeping stale a uh, good uh, performance per watt uh, figure. But what's the advantage then on having um, the same form factor and the same connector is that we can leverage that to create products based on the same carrier board. So our product line uh, created uh, two different systems which have the same form factor, but they are different inside because one is uh, housing a Jetson Nano module the other one is housing a Jetson Xavier NX module. So the performance is very different while the size and the uh, IO um, and the usability is the same. And in particular, I want to highlight that we have four USB 3.1 type A and HDMI 2.0 gigabit ethernet, um, also Wi-Fi Bluetooth optional via M2 a key, uh, two serial ports, and a 12 volt input. I can show you here the product in my hands. It's really, really, really small. And I can show you in comparison with the Jetson Nano SDK, sorry, a development kit, which is this one. And the size is actually smaller. Uh, so it was done a great uh, job into making a very compact while still powerful and with uh, many IO available for, uh, for your system by uh, our division uh, at Aeon. And of course, the flexibility of using either the Jetson Nano if you are uh, in need of a lower performance um, uh, system on module or Xavier NX if you need more power. The other Boxer uh, products that we will uh, talk about today are the uh, 8220 and 8250. Uh, for the same reason uh, of the uh, compatibility of the modules, uh, we have uh, the same two products with the same IO available for the Jetson Nano and the Jetson Xavier NX. Uh, similarly to what we have on the other product, uh, we have still four USB 3.1, HDMI 2.0, but we have now five gigabit Ethernet where you can connect multiple IP cameras or other devices via uh, network, uh, wired network. Of course, still Wi Fi Bluetooth available via an optional M.2 E key module and two serial ports. Uh, also, these two uh, systems are powered by a 12 volt uh, DC in that you can see from the pictures. Um, also, the USB micro uh, port is available on this device. Um, it's used uh, as also as a def device to load the operating system into the box very easily from uh, a second host PC with uh, uh, your Linux image uh, for uh, to be used on the target. Now. Um, Considering the hardware, um, these, these systems, um, they are supported by um, an extensive uh, Linux package provided by NVIDIA. Uh, more information are available on the NVIDIA website, but just to give you an overview, the BSP provided by NVIDIA is called Linux for Tegra. And it's a package that includes many components that are necessary to run a Linux operating system on a, a Jetson based uh, product. So uh, the uh, component uh, listed here is of course the Linux kernel, which is specific for uh, NVIDIA products. It, the changes implemented by NVIDIA, they are not all available on mainline kernel. So you would need a specific kernel provided by NVIDIA itself. Currently, it's available 4.19 kernel in the BSP provided by NVIDIA. Um, and that's the one that's used also by our uh, Yocto BSP. The bootloaders also require some proprietary components, which NVIDIA is releasing in the BSP. 
um, those components, of course, that needs to be integrated in your Linux image in order to boot properly your system. And uh, of course, other components, including BSP, are various firmware for the GPU and the other components integrated in the system and chip, drivers and hardware specific libraries, uh, components for power management, graphics and multimedia support with various import libraries used uh, by Linux, different Linux applications and, and uh, SDKs. Of course, the Jetpack SDKs, which is uh, a software package uh, that includes many different components will look, uh, that we'll have a look soon. Configuration files to properly uh, configure your Jetson based uh, systems. Tools for flashing uh, your Linux image into your boxers or Jetson base uh, product and uh, an Ubuntu 1804 uh, sample root file system. Um, and that's the main thing. Um, NVIDIA with their BSP, they officially support an Ubuntu base image. So uh, all the components are built around this, all the Jetpack SDK components, the libraries, everything that NVIDIA has customized to make that work for uh, NVIDIA based modules it's uh, working on an Ubuntu-based distribution. And this is uh, uh, their choice. But as we, as we have seen, uh, as we will see later, um, that is a challenge for some uh, customers and use case. What is the important uh, part that NVIDIA offers with their PSP? It's the Jetson software for AI edge devices. The Jetson software is a collection of SDK libraries and APIs that help developers to build AI applications for a various, uh, various type of vertical city, smart cities, uh, smart factories, logistics, healthcare, agriculture, but also others like robots and so on. Um, the components of uh, the Jetson software uh, start from uh, the CUDA uh, SDK, which is uh, at the base of the whole uh, Jetson software package. And it's extended by various uh, components for AI inferencing with TensorRT and CUDNM, um, API for videos and, and video captures like LibArgus. And then we have additional components for vision like PPI and OpenCV. And we have many other components like uh, accelerated computing with CU BLAS and CUFFD and for sensor driver ecosystem. Very important are also two components added on top of the Jetpack SDK, which is Dripstream SDK and Isaac SDK. In particular, Isaac SDK is um, an important SDK developed for robotics, but those two components we will talk more in detail in the um, next future uh, webinar. At this point, I would like to focus on what software Aeon provides with the Boxer. Uh, the two main uh, software that are available from Aeon is AC Linux, which is the uh, distribution included in our Boxer by default, is compatible with NVIDIA sample Ubuntu uh, root file system. It's based on XFC, um, graphical user interface and includes Jetpack 4.4 in the latest image that we provide. The other software component that Aeon provides is the Yocto BSP for Aeon boxers, specifically for the ones that we have listed at the beginning of the presentation. We include uh, sample images, uh, one minimal only text based and one with a graphical user interface based on XFC4. And the wall Yocto BSP is based on the community supported Meta Tegra um, layer. So, what is Meta? Uh, what is the software stack? Um, as you can see, the Yocto software stack includes various components. Um, we have at the base, of course, our hardware where we want to load our system. Um, the basic components, uh, Meta Tegra from Yocto Open Embedded for Tegra, that we'll explain in a minute. Of course, our Aeon Yocto BSB built on top of Meta Tegra, and the Jetpack software, which can be added by uh, developers and, and users of the platform using the Meta Tegra 
layer and the documentation provided. On top of that, then the application, various application can be loaded depending on the uh, use case. Um, and this provides a full picture of what are, is the software stack available on a, a NVIDIA Jetson based product like our Boxer when running a Yocto based operating system. But why Yocto? Why uh, we are offering also uh, an option to our customer with a Yocto BSP? Uh, first of all, is because Yocto uh, project is more and more used over time across many embedded uh, um, projects and applications and uh, the whole IoT industry. It's very extremely configurable. It can suit any device changing the components uh, with its flexibility, depending on what is the use case, what is the IO available on your system and how uh, should be optimized for the specific use case. But another important factor is the binary reproducibility. Um, that means that every time that we develop an application and we update our system, we know exactly what are the source code components used to build that target image and software. This is very important when we have to um, test our platform and then when we experience issues, for example, if there is a problem and we need to reproduce that problem and fix that problem, it's very important that we know what that software is built on, if what is the exact source code used by that build, by that, are, that target image, allowing um, the developers to easily resolve, more easily resolve the issue they encounter. And uh, the last part of why Yocto that I want to consider is a legal part. Um, software licenses are very important, not only for open source, but also commercial licenses. And when we develop a product that we put on the field, we may forget that each software component has its own license and we must comply with that license. In order to do that, it's not very easy to do, to, to do on a standard distribution while the uh, Yocto project provides the right tools um, for every build that uh, the developer creates with the, soft, with the manifest to be reviewed and configurations to add or remove specific license. This will uh, allow you to deploy software that is reproducible, that is configured specific to your um, uh, software requirements and hardware requirements, but also that from the license perspective is complying with all uh, the licenses that are included in the uh, software target image. So what is uh, the base of the Yocto support for NVIDIA based platforms? Open Embedded for Tegra is uh, an open source community uh, layers. Now there are more than one layers and they are developed initially by Matt Madison in 2015 and now it has been moved in under the Open Embedded for Terra organization on GitHub. You can see the link here. And it includes uh, various components um, that are necessary to build a system that can run on an NVIDIA based platform. So there are kernel, bootloaders, drivers, firmwares, board specific files, configuration files for other components like audio, Bluetooth and network and recipes, which are the configuration uh, component for board specific uh, features, tools, and examples. Um, it's uh, just to remind you that this is a community uh, based uh, support and video officially support only the um, Linux for Tegra BSP, which is based on Ubuntu root file system. But this um, Open Embedded for Tegra has recently even got more and more attention. In fact, even NVIDIA is now uh, uh, offering um, partners and other software uh, companies that can help their customers to, de to deploy solution based on Yocto and Open Embedded for Tegra. Um, more recently also, uh, it was added the Teg Tegra demo distribution that can uh, leverage uh, more components 
uh, integrated within the target image. But what are the components included in the Open Embedded for Tegra other than uh, what we have discussed, which are the basics of the system? Uh, MetaTegra includes also components from the Jetpack software SDKs. Um, considering those components were initially provided by NVIDIA for an Ubuntu-based systems, those components uh, by the community were repackaged into uh, a Yocto uh, compatible uh, layer. Um, there was a bit more work for CUDA, which was more complicated to integrate into Yocto, but is uh, now fully supported. Um, it's important to, to remind you that because those components are in part also closed source and delivered and provided by NVIDIA, the tools to include in the image and to uh, include in your target image needs to be downloaded uh, via um, NVIDIA website using a, a free developer account. Um, that is because of course, in the Yocto, uh, we can easily um, download components from internet, from known uh, source repositories. But in case, like in this, in this, we have um, a repository provided by NVIDIA with a developer account, then uh, some additional manual steps are required in order to include the Jetpack software. Unfortunately, uh, not all uh, the components are currently supported. NVIDIA recently included in their Jetpack software uh, NSight and VPI components for vision application, which are at the moment not supported uh, within Yocto, but I'm sure uh, there will be uh, more work on it and we will expect to be included in future releases from the Open Embedded for Tegra project. Other components included in Yocto, which are very important for uh, properly supporting the platforms, are plugins for uh, hardware, video encoder, and decoder, and uh, image signal processor support. So we have libv4l2 uh, and gstreamer, and of course we have libargus for ISP support. Uh, video for Linux. Uh, uh, as you know, it's, it's a collection of device drivers and API for real-time video capture. GStreamer is multimedia framework used for video playback, video recording, streaming, editing, and Libargus, as I mentioned, for camera application. Um, these components require specific version provided by NVIDIA, which can take advantage of the GPU and the, R and the ISP included in the NVIDIA SOC and so being properly accelerated uh, by the hardware components in the NVIDIA modules. Also, another component that is included uh, not just by NVIDIA uh, BSP, but also by the Yocto BSP is the virtualization and container support, which uh, was added since uh, the NVIDIA release, Linux for Tegra release 32, and it's uh, also available in the open embedded for Tegra release, currently available, uh, includes specific, just some specific container runtime and tools. And is it possible to run containers uh, that uh, are downloadable from NVIDIA NGC, NVIDIA um, platform for uh, container application that are um, available uh, for free to download from the website linked in this page. What is the current status um, of Open Embedded for Tegra? As mentioned, it's a community-based project. Um, it's widely supported by many other uh, software partners, other companies using uh, NVIDIA modules, um, many, of, many of which are already using the, this project for real product that have been already deployed. So what is the current status? There is a continuous work from the community to uh, keep the, the project supported with the latest uh, release from NVIDIA. All the configuration are, are kept close as possible to the NVIDIA BSP in order to avoid uh, problems in the porting and then in the uh, while running application using the ported uh, software. 
And of course, uh, the, the fourth basic distribution available uh, are now being extended, as, you, as I mentioned before, with specific distribution that allows uh, developers to easily include components for their development, uh, including various components of the Jetpack software. But what is the future development of Open Embedded for Tegra? Um, well, recently there was a, a Yachtodev Summit 2020 where um, uh, Matt Madison actually explained uh, how the project is progressing and what, is, what are the goals for the project in the future. Uh, the community is growing very fast. Um, there are more developers needed, but there are many, many more who already joined the project. Uh, the plan is to keep growing the community to, to have more uh, uh, information available, better communication channels, templates available for everybody to use and develop their own BSPs. And of course, including a better and more structured documentation with wiki and how to's and technical details, you can all already find this information which is updated er uh, constantly by the community on the link uh, already provided for from uh, on GitHub. Uh, additional content will also be added to support uh, more as the SDKA components. Uh, I mentioned that not all the components are supported already. Um, and also the idea is to provide an easier uh, experience to get started with uh, demos and reference distribution, uh, which is already a work in progress uh, with the Meta Tegra distro now available on the open embedded for Tegra organization. What is uh, uh, the Yocto for Aeon BSP? Um, the meta layer for our Boxer product is available on GitHub. Uh, the Yocto BSP has been developed by our partner Kona Software, who developed um, the additional components needed to run Yocto based system on our box of products. They are also available for further development and optimization if you would need uh, uh, support for a custom project. And you can find all the components freely available on, on GitHub. And from there, you can also uh, provide your feedback. You can contribute with, with changes you want to uh, propose. Um, and of course, you can follow all the instructions that we will later show on how to implement and, uh, and build and run uh, Yocto based distribution for our products. So we want to showcase also um, the documentation that has been developed together with this uh, support. Um, the next few slides will showcase the simple steps required to build your first uh, Linux OS uh, compatible with our Boxer based on NVIDIA Jetson module. So we will have three steps. The first one is to set up the build environment. So how can we build the system? Then run the build. So what is necessary to execute the compilation of the target image. And then the last step is how to load the system into a target device, which is uh, the box or unit we have here. Um, Yocto is based on Open Embedded and Open Embedded is a very complicated build system. I'm just showing here an overview of how complex uh, with a simple diagram can be the whole uh, workflow involved in a Linux uh, OS image build. Uh, we're not going to detail into how are the internals of Yocto, but this is just to give you an overview of how complex it is to build a Linux distribution. It's not an easy job. Customizing an existing distribution might seem easy, but it, it comes with many problems of maintenance and reproducibility and so on. But Yocto can give you full control, and that's the uh, biggest advantage of using this approach while being, uh, of course, uh, more complex, especially at the beginning when you're starting uh, using this tool, this set of tools. So how do we uh, use it with our boxers? Um, 
thanks to um, the use of uh, repo uh, git tool uh, used by uh, in our bsp you can easily set up the build environment starting with downloading the right uh, recipes configuration and so on with these simple steps you can download um, the repo tool which is a git tool allowing you to easily synchronize multiple repository for a specific project once you have set up the repo tool it's very easy for you to download the wall source for of the bsp so simply you can go into the folder that you just created for the project and you can initialize using the repo command the uh, aeon bsp for the boxer units with the simple command repo sync all the components will be downloaded in your system and you will see uh, in your local folder a structure like uh, the one you have here on this slide these are the components needed to start your project with Yocto. Now, um, in order to build your system, you would need to run a machine that's pre-configured for building a Yocto, um, for building Yocto. It can be complex uh, also to set up a machine that is exactly what you need for a specific build. There are uh, many getting started guide on how to do that, how to set up your system. Of course, the preferred way is to use a Linux system as the one we used so far for the previous steps, but um, theoretically you could run this also on Windows, um, especially if you use um, a tool uh, called Crops that's taking advantage of container technology to run a build for Yocto. So basically, if you have Docker installed on your system and you use uh, crops, uh, you can find more information at the link provided on the Yocto project documentation. You will have your environment already set up with all the dependencies that are necessary for the build. And you only need to be in the right folder with uh, the components you just downloaded with the repo tool described in the previous slide. And with just one command, you execute the configuration of your build environment within the folder containing the source code and the configuration files. And after that, you can uh, finally set up the build to create the configuration. So you initialize the build environment, defining the target, um, machine, which is the board you all want to support. In this case, is a Jackson Xavier NX, uh, which is the one we have on the Boxer 8250 and 8251. We selected this for Aeon so that all the necessary components to support our uh, boards, our systems will be included. And then we run the command to set up the environment for the build. Now, uh, at this point, we can um, the system will uh, will create a build folder with all the necessary configuration that you can down uh, you can further down uh, customize uh, you can edit the file and add additional components or simply you can run the bitpack command which um, is going to compile the world system either to create a, a, new, a, new, a minimal image with just the text-based uh, interface or a graphical user interface-based image which, with XFC4. So running BitBake Core Image Minimal or BitBake Core Image Minimal XFCE, the system will collect all the necessary components from uh, the various repositories online directly, the source code of the, the uh, open source components and the binaries of the firmware which are of course, uh, commercially or closed, or closed source. And the build process would take, depending on the speed of the connection and the uh, power of the system you are using for the build, could take from an hour or two to 
six or even eight hours. Of course, it's a long time, but uh, the main point is that you're building a system from scratch. You're compiling every single component, of course, except the closed source component, which are downloaded as binary and included in the system. But this will give you, of course, the uh, important um, option of having a binary reproducible uh, build so that you know exactly what you built and which is the exact source code included in your build. Um, but nonetheless, the next time you're going to build, the process will take much less. The caching system provided by Yocto is very powerful. So if uh, once you finish the build, you are going to implement any modification, you can rerun the build and the build system will recognize the changes and recompile only a part of the system, uh, making it much faster to update, uh, to recompile a new target image for your product. So at the end of the build process, the system will simply uh, close the, the build process, stating that all the process has been completed and you will have a new folder where uh, there is the image to be deployed in the target system. In order to uh, flash the image into the target system, you simply need your boxer unit, a micro USB cable connected between the host machine where you have done the build and the device. Then uh, you need to put uh, the system in recovery in order to enable uh, the boxer to accept a new image into the internal storage. When the flash procedure is started using the deploy Aeon script, uh, the boxer will be written with a new image and the system will be uh, following uh, flashing uh, process of a couple of minutes. At the end of the process, you will see that uh, the process has been completed successfully. Um, and you can, at the end, disconnect the board, the, the system, and use your system with the new image already installed. The system is ready to be used. Um, it will uh, be... Um, loading this, the graphical user interface in, in very little time because it's very uh, fast and well optimized already. Of course, then the basic uh, application included may not be enough for your project, but that's the part where you can then continue uh, your project on working on the customization of the target image. As mentioned uh, previously during the presentation, you can include additional components in your system, configuring uh, the system uh, on the local configuration file if you want quickly to add new features, or you can modify the recipes of your build to make a more structured update to include the necessary features. Uh, thanks to the support from Open Embedded for Tegra of the Jetson software, you can, of course, download via the SDK manager the components for your target hardware. Once downloaded, you can use the Open Embedded for Tegra configurations to add the Jetson software packages to your build, depending on what you need for your applications. So please refer for any customization to the Meta Aeon NVIDIA available on GitHub and, of course, Open Embedded for Tegra which provides the additional components for Jetson software packages. And you can then continue uh, in the custom configuration and customization of your product uh, with NVIDIA running a Yocto-based Linux OS. What are so the products supported? As mentioned at the beginning, the four products we uh, have highlighted today are fully supported by our Yocto BSP. So we have the 8220, 8221 with the Jetson Nano module. We have 8250 and 8251 with Jetson Xavier NX module. It's using um, 
the BSPs provide is, is using Yocto 3.1 downfall and the kernel is 4.19 LTS, which is based on the 4.19 LTS kernel provided by NVIDIA. Meta Aeon NVIDIA is available on GitHub for you to use and configure your system and customize your system as you might need. What services we can offer um, for, your, for you or your customers? We can provide customization services together with our software partner for already enabled platform, but we can also create a new BSP for either ODM products or other products that are not currently supported. We can also integrate your applications into Yocto-based systems to seamless integrate application in the target image but of course, we can provide also supporting services for uh, Yocto-based systems and provide updates with bug fixes, security updates, but also include additional feature for device management and over the air updates. What are the future developments for Aeon Yocto BSP? Um, we are considering to add support for more Boxer products in 2021. If we see more interest from our customers and uh, potential customers, we will definitely add more and more units. We are already working on adding new tutorials and customize uh, the reference images for easier development. So we will showcase how to customize the image in the, in the upcoming tutorials uh, that will be available later this year. And of course, in 2021, we will have uh, a follow-up webinar training where we will showcase how to customize the reference images, how to add additional software like Jetpack software and other components to run AI inference application on our Boxer unit. Reference for use for this presentation are available at the end of the presentation various uh, websites and presentation included are available in this page and that's everything for the webinar of today thank you if you have any question now it's the moment you can raise your hand and ask a question in the q a uh, chat please Uh, Daniela, you can see the Q and A yeah. questions right there in that box. So uh, the first question uh, is is about are the Boxer device compatible with Stardust and NVIDIA Xavier NX dev board? Um, well, the Xavier NX uh, NVIDIA dev board includes a Jetson Jetson Xavier NX module. The Jetson Xavier NX module is the same that you find inside our Boxer devices. So yes, they are compatible. The, the difference is, of course, in the current board. The dev board, as like the one I showed before, this one is the dev board. In this case, for the Jetson Nano, but it's very similar. Sorry, let's yeah, you see. And in, the, in our products, we have the same module, but mounted in our current board, which provides a different set of I.O. and in a more compact form factor. Then uh, there is another question from our attendee about uh, licenses. So I have a question regarding licenses in Yocto project. If we sell a device with a Yocto firmware, where should the licenses be listed? Definitely in the device software or is it enough to show the license on our website? Uh, well, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's good to do both. <laughs> license, of course, should be included in, in, the, in the box, but the box may not be accessible by others because, of course, it's, it's something you don't want others to access while it's deployed. So definitely it should be available on your website um, or if the software can be downloaded by third party or by customers, you can include it with the download of the target image. Uh, can I buy these products from the EU shop? Um, 
I think, yes, yes, it is possible to buy those products from the EU shop. Uh, for that, uh, for that um, you can follow up with our sales uh, directly and uh, request one of these products, which are already available. And if you have any questions, of course, on the uh, Yocto support, you can um, send, send us an email or contact us for additional questions. Any other question? We wait a couple of minutes if someone is coming up with uh, new questions. Okay, um, we have one question. What updates are supported once the product is deployed? Kernel, CUDA version, how does that work? Well, by, by default, we provide the BSP. So there is no free support that comes with additional or new version. We will release when um, we have an updated version, a new BSP but there is no active support with the BSP in the sense that we provide a new kernel revision every time there is a new one. If your product requires a continuous uh, update of CUDA version, kernel version, etc., that's not the one we will provide, then we have to uh, find a support agreement where we will be able to support you with newer version of the kernel, or when, of course, NVIDIA will release uh, new kernel versions or CUDA or Jetpack SDK. Uh, of course, considering Yocto is open source and it's available, uh, the BSP online, you can also uh, customize and download the updated version of the Yocto MetaTegra for you to use newer version of CUDA or kernel. Uh, with our BSP, we inherit the support coming from the MetaTegra. So if MetaTegra is providing a new kernel version, you will be able to use a new kernel version. Uh, for the other part, okay. Any other question? If you have any other question, you can uh, post in the Q&A chat box. We wait another couple of minutes and if we don't have other questions, we'll close the webinar.
Um, we have a new question, where can I download this presentation in, in the box or data sheets? So uh, the boxer um, information data sheets can be downloaded from aon.com regarding this presentation. And of course the recording will be made available online. Um, Taylor, I think you can provide more information about where the presentation and the video will be available for. Yes, after um, this, uh, we will have the recording available on YouTube. So we will email that out to everyone here. Um, and yeah, you'll be able to watch it anytime. Um, there is another question, uh, which is very interesting. Can these updates be deployed without refreshing the board in recovery mode? Yes, but not refreshing the full image from the build. So in order to deploy updates without refreshing the image, you will need to enable um, an over the air update system, um, an update management uh, tool. Uh, within uh, MetaTegra, there is already works and initial support for one of the various OTA system called Mender. Um, so you can look into the documentation of MetaTegra and see how it, to enable Mender in the distribution. Once you have enabled Mender, you can use the Mender software device management tool to update your system without putting the board in uh, recovery mode. So basically you have a live system and via internet, you can control the remote device and update either the application or the system or other components within the system, either for security reason or additional feature or new application to be deployed. There are possibly to, to add different kind of update mechanism. There are many others for Yocto that you can use. There is software update, there is uh, Libo S3, um, and those are all valid options. The advantage of Yocto is that you have flexibility also in the update mechanism that you can use. And the update mechanism supported are all uh, with uh, reliability and safety and security in mind. So you will see that all these um, various OTA updates have um, a robust mechanism to update the system, to roll back to a previous state, to avoid the system to be breaked during an update, which is not something you get from a standard distribution. So it's very important for uh, deploying um, an edge device, an IoT device, to have this kind of uh, mechanism implemented, included in your system. And that's the part that can be included in the customization of your image, of course. Okay, and if we don't have any other questions, I think um, we can close the webinar, Taylor. Yep, sure can. Thank you everyone so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. And we hope to see you at the next Aon webinar. Thank you everybody. Have a nice day.